on the day that I was diagnosed with cancer, I realized if I only got the chance to do one more thing, it's gonna be cycle around the world. None of us actually know how long we have to live. We think that there's this certainty, but actually I think it applies to everyone. Just because I have cancer, I realized is that if I chose to be angry and sad and resentful, then I'd probably spend my last months alive just unhappy. If I only have a few months left to live, I want those to be good months. My name is Luke Grenfell Shaw. In 2018, I was 24 years old and I had this ache in my left shoulder that just wouldn't go away. And for months, it ached and ached and ached. And eventually I went to see the doctor and I said, I don't think there's much of a problem, but can you check this out? The doctors told me that I had cancer. It was very rare very aggressive and it had already spread to my lungs and I didn't think I would live to the end of the year. It was totally devastating. I'd basically been told, you're gonna die at 24 years old. All those dreams just gone. After I got diagnosed, I had chemotherapy, I had radiotherapy and I had surgery. But my dad gave me some amazing advice, which was you can't control whether you have cancer, but you can control your response to it. I went for a, a walk every single day I was in hospital around Bristol and sometimes I would cycle my bike on a stationary turbo trainer in my hospital room. I had always dreamed about cycling around the world but I always thought the time would be later. Like after university, after I'd bought a house, after I'd you know got a great job, after I'd retired. <laughs> when I got cancer, I realized that there was going to be no other opportunity for me to live this dream. And so as soon as I had the opportunity after finishing treatment, I set off from Bristol for Beijing. My Bristol to Beijing expedition was inspired by the ancient Silk Roads. I am really interested in the Belt and Road Initiative and the, the idea of the new Silk Roads and then the old Silk Roads. My studies have taken me from the Middle East through to Central Asia. And so for me, Beijing was like the natural destination because in many ways, I think China is going to be uh, leading and hugely influential for the 21st century. And I wanted to not only understand China, but understand China in the context of the rest of Eurasia. And the best way of doing that, in my opinion, is to cycle the whole way. I had an older brother, John, uh, who was a brilliant mathematician and cyclist. And whilst I was in hospital for the first time, he was running in the mountains in the UK. And um, he slipped and he fell. And he died. John and I, did a load of cycling together and it was always part of the plan that John would cycle with me on this round the world trip and so part of the reason for the tandem is because I wasn't able to share it with John but I then decided I'd just share it with anyone else who joined me along the way. So I started the ride on the 1st of January 2020 and over 800 people in total joined me on this trip. So I started in Bristol I then went to London, and I crossed the channel into France. I went through Western Europe, through Ukraine, then uh, Turkey, Pakistan, uh, India, and all the way across Eurasia. I cooked my own food, so I had a tent, I had a cooker, I would buy food to cook from shops, and you know, I would wash in streams or rivers, I'd be camping under the stars. I mean, people join me from everything for uh, a kilometer to 2,000 kilometers, like a complete range. Um, and I think what was special is everyone brought their own little story to, to the adventure, to the trip. Oh, 
coronavirus, my God. There was coronavirus, the Chinese border was closed. I raised 130,000 pounds for cancer charities. And this trip was 30,000 kilometers through 30 different countries. I'm super excited to be going to China to do a trek in Sichuan with another young person with cancer, a new person from China. So we're going to be doing a, a trek through the Four Sisters, so near Chengdu. Uh, it's going to be several days. It's this country that um, to me is, is, is so uh, different and so enchanting at the same time and also hopefully a really amazing opportunity to not just be a tourist there but make a really deep connection with with people in China as well. We've got a Weibo account which is Bristol to Beijing uh, so anyone can find me there and follow me there. For me it's really special to see messages come in saying that you know like I've heard your story um, it's given me a lot of confidence or it's given me a lot of courage and for me that is a big sign that I'm doing my job well because I'm trying to reach people and I'm trying to give people a little bit of confidence or hope at, at a time when you feel like there often isn't any. So I think it's really important for everyone to be thinking about what do I want to do with my life, what is, what is my dream? Not the dream of society or parents or school, but what is the thing that makes my heart sing? And not hesitate, go out and do it.